yeah, big data is obviously a, a buzzword at the moment. What's it mean? And, um, and everyone's everyone's got data. There's data from so many different sources, and that can actually be a problem. Um, data is nothing without analysis. So for us, we've put the tools in place to be able to um, monitor, analyze, and gain insights from the data. So. For us, it's all about continuing to learn, continuing how it changes, looking at things that have worked and not worked for us, and continue to look at whether we can deliver the promise of delivering the right message to the right person at the right time. And I think the more data sources we have with the, the, the growing digital world that we live in, the bigger this, um, the bigger this opportunity is going to be. It's not just thinking about it from the fact of how we're going to use it to inform a creative brief. We, we can kind of be guilty of dumping stats and dumping data into briefs and, and letting people translate it themselves. For us, we need to analyse it and understand what's the key things that we need to, to look at that's going to really help us answer this brief. Um, and once we actually know everything about the, the, the different types of audience, as I touched on, there's a test audience, there's a T20 audience, but even within that there's micro segments that exist. So with the T20 point of view, you could have families, you could have um, after work people, you could have Middlesex fans, you could have opposition teams fans. So what we need to do is use the data and use the insight that we've found to just maybe give a subtle tweak to our messaging. It could be a, a change of um, call to action, it could be a change of colour schemes, it could be a change of imagery. Um, any one of those subtle tweaks can really help deliver our message to that key audience.